Welcome back to part 2 of Digital Value Studies. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint our own image. We just did three studies of three different masters. And now what we wanna do, we wanna try to apply everything that we maybe learned or maybe saved in our head. Take a moment and look at your paintings. Just go ahead and try to make your own image. As you can see, I haven't started with the sketch. I immediately started to paint. I know that I wanted to capture this dense atmosphere I had in the second study. That's why I decided to go for a little bit more dense atmosphere. I also haven't took any reference for this. I just tried to get everything out of my head I just learned. We will grab some references later, but right now we just want to get everything out. Try to emulate the same process you just used in your studies. For that point also, it is good that you think about the story you want to tell. I decided to have a person, a gunman or a cowboy in the foreground. I wasn't sure at the beginning what exactly I want to show. But I knew I would just work it out and see if it works or not. I also have no time limit for this image. I decided I want to paint as long as I want and as long as I want to find something that I maybe learned. Don't limit yourself on those. If you have enough time, take an hour, take one and a half hour, just try to work on it. When you finish your studies, take a break for 30 minutes so you're fresh when you come back. And then And also, don't stress yourself too much with this. Try to have fun. Try to have fun exploring and try to have fun painting. And while you paint your image, think about the story behind. Think about what could happen or what kind of moment it is. I wanted to use the smoke to frame both characters. I also wanted to create an interesting contrast. I wanted to have contrasting foreground elements, like in my first image of the previous video. But I also wanted to have this very dense atmosphere, where everything is disappearing at some point.
Now you can see I pulled up some references. I wanted to emphasize the smoke more. For that I used some photos in black and white. I copied them into the image and then I used the mask to invert them. For that just click on the image, click on the mask and press Ctrl I. When the mask have become black, use white. I also like to use more painterly brushes when I do this. So the things I paint out get a very nice effect. I wanted to keep this graphic look at some point. So I decided to make this smoke a little bit more graphically. I also used the smudge brush, where I smudge some edges away and try to emphasize nice shapes of the smoke. This whole image was more like an experience for me, because I knew, okay, I don't want to make a portfolio piece, but I really want to try something here. I want to frame both characters, want to create a dynamic image, but also want to tell a story using the atmosphere. When you use photos, make sure that you don't create too much unnecessary attention. Just try to work all those informations very subtly into your image. To emphasize who is the person in the foreground, I had to give it a little bit more work and more detail. I wanted to emphasize a little bit more of his backstory.
take as much time as you want for your final picture. I hope you had fun, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the like button. Also, if you try this exercise, feel free to link me on your Instagram account, so I can comment on your result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or thoughts, type it in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye guys.